Iowa, the vast majority of children ages 5 to 11 are not vaccinated, even though they're old enough. New at 5, KCCI Cynthia Fodor shows us why doctors are now very concerned. With Steve, with influenza A, flu cases and Omicron cases now rapidly spreading, hospitals are seeing a surge in sick children and expect even more illness after the holidays. 11-year-old Emerson Victor knows other kids her age who have had COVID-19. Well, you are all done. She wanted to get her second shot of the vaccine to protect herself before going back to school. I just I don't want to get it because I don't really mind, you know. They're just like, <laughs> I don't mind getting it, so there wasn't any point to not get it. Doctors say getting the oh, shot is nothing fine. compared to getting a severe case of COVID or long-term side effects like multi-system inflammatory syndrome or heart damage. Across the country, there have been nearly 2 million COVID cases within the 5 to 11 age group one, with two, nearly three. 100 deaths. Kids are sicker now than I have ever seen them before. Our clinics are full, our urgent cares are full, our ERs are bursting. Pediatrician Amy Shriver says hospitals are now seeing a twindemic, a surge in young patients with COVID or the flu. It means that most likely we'll be seeing shortages of hospital beds for kids, we'll be seeing shortages of uh, safety equipment, uh, we'll be seeing shortages of tests. Um, so, you know, this is a serious problem coming up. The Iowa COVID dashboard shows of those 5 to 11 years old, only 14 percent have been vaccinated. In the 12 to 15 year old group, it jumps to 43 percent and 47 percent of 16 to 19 year olds are vaccinated. If families knew that even their healthiest kid could end up being very, very sick for a very, very long time if they get COVID, I think they would vaccinate. Now is the time to lean into your child's health and to make sure you have done every single thing possible as a parent to keep your child safe. Now, doctors also urge parents to have their children get the flu shot as well. They say many parents have also fallen behind on getting their children standard vaccines for things like mumps and measles since the pandemic began.